this week on Nintendo No, let's go back to a time where shooters were um, firing just off target. Third person shooters were fairly hit and miss on the N64, case in point Jet Force Gemini, which was made by the premier third party developer on the system, Rareware. This game was really during their prime, and whereas it had some redeeming features, you'd be hard pressed to say it was a particularly good game. It certainly doesn't hold up today, due partly at least to the janky control system necessary due to the limitations on the N64 controller, with it only having a singular control stick. Despite this hardware limitation, there were various other shooters on the N64. Of course, GoldenEye comes to mind. But one non-rare shooter is the canned third person shooter Tommy Thunder, made by the seemingly elusive Player One Studio, which I simply can't find much on the internet about. I could however find that this was the same team which were behind the somewhat acclaimed Robotron 64, which was a multi-directional shooter set on a 2D plane. This game was an adaptation of the arcade game Robotron 2084, and while similar it has some key differences nevertheless, and was a far fairer game. Tommy Thunder was a game where you played as, quite unsurprisingly, Tommy Thunder, and though information is pretty scarce on it, I think it's safe to say that this would have been a game somewhat bedded within the sci-fi genre. This is due to both Tommy's futuristic attire and the presence of a laser gun, as can be seen in the alpha footage of the game. The game was predominantly a third person shooter, but was also set to feature the ability to dynamically shift to and from a first person viewpoint when the player felt necessary, which is a small feature of course but the fact that it was running seemingly quite well in such an early alpha build shows that this game certainly had some promise, even if the footage that is available is no doubt extremely early, and due to its early nature, is somewhat flawed. The game would later be signed up by the now defunct ASC Games, and would then make the move to the PSX, a PS2 slash video recorder hybrid, before eventually seeing a cancellation, due both to the lack of any real positive progression on the project, and the PSX's release being destined to only ever take place in Japan. While it could have been possible for this game to be really quite cool, it is still tough to say just how good or not so good this game would have been, and I can't say that it saddens me too much that it never released, but I want to know what you think, so please pop your thoughts down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to give it a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. As well as that, I do have a Patreon and the link to that will be in the description down below if you want to support me further. Thank you very much for your support and bye bye.